Hi, I'm Froggy Lumpy. And I'm Phoenix Animator. We're in Crack Pack, and and <laughs> and you, you were supposed to say hi first, and I did. I know I, we did it backwards. I did it. I know, and it, it it yeah. Hello, hi. We're in Crack Pack, and it's episode twenty-one, and I got stuff to do. Stuff. So check it out. Stuff and first, things. First of all, I have to have a piece of cake. Ooh, yeah. I put a, I put a cake down. Piece of cake. I need piece another piece. Piece of cake. Okay, I need another piece. There we go. Wow. That cake's almost gone. Okay, so I was looking in this chest, and it was getting real full. So I moved the rubber back to over here. Okay. But I was like going, wait a minute. We need to get some of this rubber cooked up. So I cooked up some and got some rubber bars. I don't know. And then I thought, uh, wait a minute. We've got all this rubber wood here. Um, what's the most efficient way to use this? And I got to look it in here. And if you pull up precision, precision sawmill, check this out. The precision sawmill, you need um, enriched alloy and you need a basic controller or you need electronic circuit. But let's see if I hit use on here. Um, no, that doesn't work. Okay, wood, rubber wood, hit use. Um, smelting, fuel, extractor, aha. Precision sawmill, here it is. If you put the wood in the precision sawmill, you will get four oak wood planks. Plus, you get 100% guaranteed getting a rubber bar. So I thought, hmm, I think I'd like to do that. So then that way we could do the oak wood planks and have the rubber bar as well. Generally speaking, when you process rubber wood, you get uh, jungle wood. But I don't really want to do jungle wood. I really want to have the oak wood planks. Um, so, I'm going to make a precision sawmill. Here's the thing. To make, to make this, though, you need enriched alloy. Enriched alloy needs a metallurgic infuser. So, let's pull up metal. Metallurgic. Uh, there we go. Metallurgic infuser. I need four iron. Two redstone, two furnaces, and osmium ingot. That's easy. I can do that. That's easy peasy. Okay, so metallurgic infuser. There we go. Perfect. Now we have the metallurgic infuser. So now I can put the metallurgic infuser because I'm not sure if we're going to use this a lot. If we if we do find that we're going to use it, then then I can move it. But I'm just going to plop it right here. Connect it right up there. Hopefully it's connected. Uh, it's not. Oh. I think the connection's in the back. Oh, okay. So, do I have to have... I won't be able to actually, you know, like, do this then? No. So, I... There you have, go. It has RF. It had RF. It did? Yeah. Oh. See, RF on the, on the side. Oh, I was looking on the wrong side. Good grief. That's the redstone. Where that's where the redstone goes. All right. So if you put redstone in here, um, I'm just gonna well, pretty much fill it up. Fill it up. Okay. Now uh, on the metallurgic infuser. No, excuse me. Not the metallurgic infuser. The precision. There we go. The precision sawmill. We need enriched alloy. So now that takes redstone and it takes iron to make the enriched alloy. So we can just put a piece of iron or two in here because I need two of them, right? Yes, I need two of them. Uh, while this is cooking up, I'm also going to cook up the basic control, which is osmium. So while that's doing, why don't you go ahead and do your thing? Okay. While this is cooking. So I was up, I was up, uh, where the tinkers was and I noticed a beehive or two up there so I wanted to go ahead and make a scoop and get those collect those and get maybe possibly get some bees going so let's go and get those bees and to get the scoop if you didn't see me just make it there is uh, five six sticks and a piece of wool just like this and that'll make a scoop and then we'll come on up here 
and I have one, two, three hives right there. So you're gonna use the scoop and you left click the forest hive or the hive and there we go. So now I have a forest princess and a honeycomb. Yay. I also want to come over here and get this. This is a curious hive and that has mystical drones and another honeycomb, the mundane comb. And we'll come over and get this curious hive as well. Do I have, I don't have the rope. Let's, uh, my inventory has got rubber in it. Why do I have rubber of all things? Oh, I had two separate things for wood. I've just, my inventory is a mess, like always. All right, and then we'll get this curious hive here. There we go. Perfect. Now, we're going to come on back and make one other item, and then I'll give it back to you. Sounds good. Got to come on downstairs here. And since I have three mundane combs, we'll use the mundane comb. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a bee house. And this is a very basic, very basic uh, bee home. So we need five pieces of wood, three planks, and a comb. I have the three, not planks, slabs. I have the five wood, and we'll use the mundane comb. There we go, and that makes a bee house. And this is good for breeding and not at nighttime. No, it only works during the daytime. It does only work in the day. Unless you happen to have a rocky comb bee. Then or, that might work at night because they work in caves and at night, I believe. Right. You only have a bee house, right? <laughs> bee house. Okay. Yes. So let's put in a mystical princess and a mystical drone. There we go. It says it has light. Nether flowers. Oh, okay. That's that's for another bee. This is another bee. And there we go. It seems to be working because it's not giving me any kind of errors. And I see bees coming out of it. So that's going to make the bees breed. Yay! Bee house complete! I wanted to show the, um, the coal dust and the iron dust. Uh huh. In the induction smelter. Oh yeah! Um, look giving, at that. Giving you the uh, steel. Um, I'm going to need steel in my pre precision sawmill, so um, I'm going to need like four pieces of steel for that. Um, so let me go ahead and and uh, pull this up. Um, I, well, I already have that. Okay, so to make the steel casing, I need four pieces of steel a piece of osmium and four pieces of glass so if I put my four glass here and I put an osmium ingot here and then I put my uh, yeah refined iron I refined iron which is the same thing as steel better work there we go there we go we got our steel casing now we should be able to if this would pop up here to the green ones I can shift and and click the question mark and my my whole thing gets filled in precision sawmill fabulous so we have a precision sawmill now now on this I thought we'd take this upstairs and okay. actually put this I can never remember where to go there out out the froggy thingy <laughs> Okay, so we have some, here we go. Let me get some leadstone things here and I'll need a servo and I'll need a chest. Um, and let's see, it, there's, it's here, right? Yes, I thought so. Okay, so if I take this over top, uh, why am I missing one? Oh, you did, okay. Um, let's see. One more there. Precision sawmill. Here. And yeah, I'm power. thinking I'm going to have to item duck this. I don't think it'll do it ghost directly in the chest, will it? I don't know. Um, well, let's just find out. Um, let's go ahead and put that there. I'll set, 
I well, that was scary. I don't think it will. Um, I really don't think it will. Yeah, it's still set in there. Hold on. There you go. Okay, here we go. So, we've got our precision sawmill. And it is getting our oak wood planks and our rubber bars. And then the item duck pulls it in and puts it into this chest. And it will do the rubber bars more than likely after it does the, the thing. So, let's find out. Let's just pull that, stop that so that it will pull the wood. And now let's make sure that it will pull. There we go. It does. It pulls the... Rubber yep. bars as well. Yay! So we can go ahead and put that back in there and continue the process. We'll let that finish up and look, we'll end up having rubber rubber bars. That's wonderful. I'm leaving that room because I don't know if they can hear it, but that thing is noisy. Is it? Oh. I have my volume down so low I can't hear it. Um, I, uh, you know what? Let me put myself in creative mode for a second. I just want to show this. Um, I have to put myself in creative mode so that you can see it because I have to fly all the way up here. Check out the circles. Um, I'm starting them. Um, obviously you can see that it's not done. Um, but uh, I've got to draw it out on paper first. Um, uh, but I put the, uh, the pathways in um, so they're all set, set and ready to go. But check out these circles. I mean this is, I think this is so cool. Small circle, larger circles, larger circle. I just love, I just think it's cool. I like it. Cool. So I just Hi up to, there. I just wanted to show that. Hi. You come back down here and put myself back in survival. Game mode. Yes. There we go. Cool beans. So I, it's weird because I, I was like, okay, how do I do this here? I'm running around the whole circle, you know going okay put three here put three here put two here put two here and I'm like oh yeah I got to, I've got to do the draw this out on paper like I did the rest of them so I'm going to good do choice that, and then I'm going to finish the circle sounds good um, by using my paper guide because my guide um, for Minecraft circles is uh, my circles are too big now so no no that guide doesn't work so I've got I'm graph paper putting it on graph paper so that should work. Cool. So I'm Froggy Lumpy. And I'm Phoenix Animator. Thanks ever so much for watching, everybody. Excuse um, me, we're trying to do an outro here. Um, well, fine. I'll just, have a, <laughs> I'll just have a little sit. I'll just have a little sit on you then. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. See you all later. Bye. Th this guy's got a lot of health. I cool. like this. I like this guy. He's got a lot of health. He's healthy. I think we should keep him. Healthy horse. Yeah. You know what? I think we should keep oh, him. Oh, he moves pretty fast too. Um. Ouch.